The aesthetics of St Michael's Cathedral How lovely is your dwelling place O Lord These are the words of the psalmist which rightly narrates the beauty of the dwelling place of the Lord that is the church It is very true that when the dwelling place of God is lovely or appealing the faithful do long to come and spend time in it and that is the reason proper care is taken that aesthetic sense is maintained while building the church and arranging the things within it one of the such beautiful churches is situated in the amazing green valley of shimla the cathedral of saint michael it was built in 1885 it is designed in typical french gothic style architecture its beauty grandeur and overall aesthetic arrangement attracts devotees from all over india now let us have some glimpses of this marvelous cathedral part by part the altar there are total five altars in the cathedral one main and other four side altars the altars of the cathedral are done artistically the whole altar was brought from italy and the whole altar was imported as it is as you can see all the marble work has just been done just see the flowers that has been carved the lilies that mm. has been carved with the and the alpha the, the beginning and the symbol is there all these things have been done there and brought here these all altars have saints relics in it the tabernacle in the cathedral the tabernacle is rightly kept at very prominent place it is made of metal and there is wonderful carving on it we have a beautiful tabernacle yes i know you as a altar boy you might have <laughs> yes we remember you remember and solid uh, and tabernacle the lock and the door mm. is of the british era yes and it's still working yeah the locks are still working the tabernacle attracts the attention of the people and also protects the consecrated hosts that is kept in it the stained glasses when we enter the cathedral stained glass window behind the tabernacle catches our attention this stained glass was specially imported from germany and the pieces of glasses were assembled here in the center of the glass crucified jesus with mother mary and other women is shown on the left side of the glass saint francis of assisi and on the right hand side the image of saint joseph is shown we also find some other stained glasses on both the sides of the cathedral which adds more beauty and meaning to it the organ earlier there were special church organs played to accompany the choir the organ in the cathedral is considered to be the finest in north india the church bells the cathedral has three big bells they have melodious echo they are made of copper tin and also silver the weight of the three bells is in tons they are systematically placed at the highest point of the cathedral so that its ringing can be heard from very far there are images of the cross and saints carved on these bells the ceiling Now I want to tell you about the ceiling of the cathedral. You can see the beautiful ceiling. The wood is all Burma teak, which was brought from Burma, all the way from Burma, and it was put here by the local artisans. And at that time, it was polished, and you can see that after so many years, the shine of the polish still remains there. The ceiling of the cathedral is really marvelous. It adds grandeur and beauty to the cathedral. Overall we see that each thing of the cathedral has been made artistically and arranged aesthetically. 
It really adds beauty and creates the atmosphere of prayer for the faithful. While sitting for prayer and looking at the grandeur of the cathedral, the faithful must be recalling the words of the psalmist. Take